Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a uh, really cool card trick. I ended up seeing this trick. Uh, it was on YouTube and on the right hand side where it says recommended videos. Um, this video t uh, this video popped up there and the title was probably the world's best card trick and obviously I had to look at it. And I'll be honest with you, it definitely wasn't the best card trick. It was pretty cool, um, but it wasn't the best. But anyways guys, I'll show you the performance and then obviously show you guys how to do it as well. Alright, so here's how you uh, would start off the trick. You, go, you could go ahead and have the spectator pick any card they want to. Let's say in this case, this is going to be your guys' card for the trick. And um, essentially, you would just tell me when to stop whenever you want. So let's say you just said stop right around here, right? You go ahead, you put the spectator's card in the middle of the deck, and then you keep shuffling up the deck as well. All right, so in the performance, when the kid does the trick, he basically just keeps doing an overhand shuffle a whole bunch of times, and then the spectator tells him when to stop, but he does this really cool hot shot move that I can't do. So I'm going to do a little bit of a different ending. Um, essentially, I would have the spectators tell me when to stop for another time. Let's say we go through the deck, and they said stop right around here, all right? So after this, after all the shuffling, you tell your spectator, okay, I have no idea where your card is. I have no breaks, right? So you go ahead and you say, all right, go ahead and tell me when to stop for another time. And let's say the spectator goes through. They say stop right around here. You take the card out, and this should be the spectator's chosen card. And that is a trick, and then I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so here's how you guys would be able to do the trick. So the good part is it doesn't really require a lot of um, sight of hand. It just basically the only thing is one overhand shuffle or one false overhand shuffle, and that's pretty much the entire trick, right? So you go ahead and you have the spectator pick any card that they want to. And let's say in this case it's a 10 of hearts, right? So you go ahead and what you, what you do is tell your spectator to tell you what to stop, and all you're doing is a regular overhand shuffle. And the moment they tell you to stop, I'll leave the card right here, you're doing a, um, all you have to do is control this card to the top, right? But you're making it look like you're shuffling it back into the deck. So all you do is right after you place their card in the middle of the deck, you take one more card and you you purposely out jog it. As you guys can see, it's farther out than the rest of the cards. And then you can come just do the rest, complete the rest of the cards. And then what you do, you can continue to overhand shuffle the cards to make it look like the cards are kind of leaning in this direction. That way they can't see from the top that you actually have this out jog card right here. So right above this out jog, all you have to do is take your thumb and your middle finger, push up into the card, and then close the grip, and that's gonna cause the deck to form a break right here. And all you do is pick up from the break, and that's gonna be how you bring the spectator's card to the top. So in real time, you have the spectator's card, they go ahead, they say stop. Let's say this, or they said stop right around here. You go ahead, you take their card, and you go ahead and leave a nice little out jog card like this. And just like that, you've brought their card to the top. Now the next step is to bring it to the bottom. All you have to do is pull off the top card and then continue shuffling like normal. And then from here, you do a bunch of bottom retention overhand shuffles, keeping that card on the bottom. So essentially, once you're in this position, once you've controlled that card to the bottom, all you do is hold on to it with the pads of these three bottom fingers of the overhand shuffle looks like this. So you're doing a normal overhand shuffle except for you're holding on to the bottom card right there with your three fingers and it's going to stay on the bottom and you keep doing that about three or four times. The spectators are not going to really notice you holding on to that bottom card throughout the entire shuffle. So you can do this like like I said three or four times and at this point in the trick um, in the performance of the actual video uh, the kid says, go ahead and tell me when to stop again, and then he does a hot shot, which, like I said, guys, I can't do personally, um, so I just did a slip force. But from here, what you want to do is bring the card back up to the top. So uh, you can do a, another, you can just overhand shuffle the cards, and then don't do the bottom retention, and then just bring up that single card all the way back up to the top. And then what I did in the performance was a, uh, a slip force. Essentially, uh, with their card being on top, you make it look like you're grabbing a card from the middle. But in reality, all you're doing is just grabbing the top card on. It looks like it came from the middle. So I'll leave a link on the screen so you guys can learn how to do that. You guys can also do the uh, the Bonsai Spin Out production if you want to. Um, it's completely up to you. There's tons of different productions you guys can actually do. But like I said, I'll leave a link on the screen for the Spin Out. Or, I mean, not the Spin Out. I can do that too. But I'll leave a link for the Slip Force. And uh, like I said, guys, that pretty much concludes the trick. Best of luck, and as always, thanks for watching.